Hi, this is Dr. Friedman, and today we're going to talk about compressors. So a compressor is a plugin, some effects plugin that we're going to put in a, a digital signal processing, and what it does is it affects volume. So some people might say, well, it makes things louder. Well, in a sense, you can make things a lot louder, but really what a compressor does is it limits dynamic contrast. Now, what is dynamic contrast? Dynamics in music means volume. So contrast means what's the difference between the two? Is, is there a lot of contrast, something that is very big in difference? So dynamic contrast means do we have a lot of difference in volume? So you could just take a look over here at this wave file. So you see that there's a lot of lows and highs. This stuff gets low and high. And we'll look at this wave file together. Let's take a listen. Hip hop. I want to make this louder and I can just crank it up and I can add a gain knob and crank that up and double the track. But really what I'm interested in is getting them the H and hip hop to sound as louder as the P and the op part. So listen again. Hip hop. So you'll see where it gets louder and I'd like them to all be more even. I want to limit the dynamic contrast between the sounds. Let's take a listen to it here so you can watch it in the wave file. Hip hop. Yeah, so that's even better. So here's the H. So what I wanna do is I wanna raise the volume, raise the volume, raise the volume. The problem is if I raise the volume, these wave files right here that are loud, louder than this here, is going to get so loud it can distort. Distortion's not good to have by raising volume. You can add a plug-in for distortion. We do that a lot in guitars and stuff, but you don't want this to distort and go <laughs> and like that. So what I wanna do is put a compressor. What a compressor will do is it will literally push this signal down when it gets to a certain point. So that I keep the loud, I can make this whole thing louder and get this louder, this H part, in hip hop and make it louder. And if I make this as loud, it's gonna start to distort and get out of control. So I can push this down using a compressor so that basically I'm limiting the contrast. They'll all be a little bit more even across the whole thing. And that's really what I wanna do. So let's put a compressor in. I'm gonna go over here to my icon and add a effect. And the effect we're gonna use is this thing called the Dynamics Compressor. And it gives us a lot of different knobs and dials. The attack is how fast is this gonna happen when, when this compressor sees this thing happening? How quickly is it gonna add in? I'm just gonna leave it here for now. We won't talk about all these things. The thing I really wanna keep in mind is this thing called threshold. When it gets to a certain point, do I want, how much do I wanna push this down? So the only way we could do things like this is by listening. So let's take a listen. Hip hop. And you'll see it's, this is the reduction is uh, the gain reduction, that's what GR stands for, is actually kicking in, and this is measured in decibels. So let's take a listen again and a watch. Hip hop. So we get a little gain reduction going. Now I'm gonna decrease the threshold and see what happens. Hip hop. Okay, and I can. Hip hop. I'm gonna play a little bit with it. Hip hop. 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 Now I'm going to increase the ratio a little bit. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Now you could start to hear. Hip hop. The H is coming through. I'm going to turn it off. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Now all those H's. Hip hop. Without. Hip hop. With. Hip hop. So that's really what I want to do. Hip hop. It's a lot of compression going on here, which is okay for this particular track. Hip hop. And I want to be careful not to add. Hip hop. There we go. Too much. Hip hop. That it makes the sound. Hip hop. Scushed and doesn't sound open. Hip hop. So that's what I want to do is add a compressor and you could play with this stuff um, and see how the compressor works. I absolutely will be adding compression to every single one of my vocal tracks. It's a really great thing. A lot of audio uh, and vocal tracks will really do well by adding compression to it to make it a lot more even so that it is helpful to cut through in the mix. And please don't forget, after you've done all of your work and everything, save.